Greetings to all my viewers and subscribers. Guys, thank you for coming back to watch my video, subscribing to my channel. I really don't take you for granted. So let's get into the video now. Another mayhem in a Gregory Park again. Gregory Park night of terror. 11 homes burned and one man dead. 47 homeless. Sometimes when I see these reports, you know, and when I hear of them coming out of Gregory Park, it makes me sad. As a kid moving to the first phase of Independence City, when there was no supermarkets, no shops, and Gregory Park was the only little town and the only post office. It was a peaceful place. But now Gregory Park is always on the news. These people were by themselves, managing them by themselves, living peacefully until Portmore became Portmore and people start moving to Portmore and it become a city. Then Gregory Park now become the area where all of the bad stuff they are going. Gunmen, gunmen went on rampage early Saturday morning in Gregory Park, leaving one man dead and several others homeless. It's a 20-year-old man, taxi driver, sit down in a car and then see the man them come up to do the damage. The man get up at out in car and start run. And they run him, get up and start run. Then shoot the man in her right arm and kill the man. And after they did that, a number of them approached 44 Walkers Avenue carrying rifles and handguns and then dump gasoline and the houses and lit them ablaze. And started firing, waking up all the people in the neighborhood. One old woman, she suffered burns over her body while trying to flee from the burning building. When the gunmen opened fire on them, and them have to run back into the building because the gunmen were shooting while they were trying to escape. And after them done do all that and set it on fire and the people them run back into the building, then them, them just walk away. Well, the elderly woman was admitted to the hospital in critical condition. But the taxi man, whose name is Horton, he was pronounced dead. The fire was put out by the Spanish town and Waterford fire department when is this going to stop innocent people are getting hurt innocent people are getting killed because of some kind of disagreement and dispute they might have with one person or two people and them come in 47 people homeless now them have a curfew in a Gregory Park. But curfew, state of emergency, that is not going, because this is not the first time. And every time something happens somewhere, them have a curfew. Yes, when them have a curfew, a peop some people will feel safe for a few days or while they're having the curfew. But what happened when them leave? They have to come up with some solution. Something to quench this this violence. It's not going to happen overnight. It cannot happen overnight because it is so bad now. But at least, at least have a plan. Curfew and state of emergency is not any kind. Of, it is not any kind of plan. And having the soldiers them out policing the area. The soldiers them burn up. People not even afraid of soldiers anymore. 
There was a time when them put take the army when the army come out, everybody is nervous. They're not afraid anymore. They know the drill. They know the drill. Say, so, okay, they're going to be here for a few days. So let's keep on the down and low for a few days. And as them gone again, them start the same thing over. So there has to be some other solution. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.